Appreciate you being here. Um, God is going to do something good tonight, I believe. Uh, Brother Jay will be preaching and ministering to us tonight. Lord, we love you and thank you for this time that we can come together, Lord. We thank you that you've already come. You are already meeting us here, Lord. We just ask that you would feel welcome here in this place. Come and just have your way. Let your will be done tonight. Uh, and just help us to just move and follow the um, voice of your Holy Spirit. Lord, we lift this offering up to you. We pray that you would bless it and that you would multiply it, Lord God. Put it where it needs to go, Father. Bless those who give and those who cannot, God. And we just give you all the praise and glory in your precious and your wonderful name, Jesus. Amen. talks about his mercy and love yes. and before service started we were just talking about how in the Old Testament God opened up the earth swallow up people if they didn't do what he commanded them to do burn people up yep. aren't you glad though for his grace and his yeah. mercy Amen. if it wasn't for that I wouldn't be standing here tonight talking to you yeah. and I'm so just thankful that so you can hear by the Melanie, that we've got the power in his name. We've got the power in the name of Jesus. We've got the power. Be 
just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. Because I know there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus Till every dark addiction starts to break Declaring there is hope and there is freedom Oh, I speak Jesus Cause your name is power Speak the name of Jesus over fear and all, all anxiety, fear and all anxiety. To every soul held, to every soul held captive by depression. Oh, I speak Jesus, because your name is power. Your name is He. Your name is life, Lord, break every stronghold, shine through the shadows, burn like a fire. Oh, Lord, your name is power, your name is healing, your name from the mountains Jesus in the streets Jesus in the darkness over every enemy Jesus for my family I speak the holy name Jesus Shout Jesus from the mountains Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy, Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name, Jesus. Oh, shout Jesus, oh, shout Jesus from the mountains, and Jesus in the streets. Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name. Jesus, shout Jesus, shout Jesus from the mountains and Jesus in the streets. Jesus in the darkness over the power of the enemy. Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name. Jesus, because your name is power, your name is healing, your name is life. stronghold shine through the shadows burn like a fire and I just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind 
Cause I know there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus. Come on, can we give the Lord a hand clap of praise tonight? We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break strongholds. There's power in the name of Jesus to bring freedom. We've got to hold to his name when we're fearful, when we're afraid, when we don't know what to do. We need to hold firm to Jesus and speak his name and trust that God is going to make a way when there is no other way. Hallelujah. God, we give you praise tonight. Hallelujah. If you've got a need this evening, would you just let us know by lifting your hands? We're going to take these before the Lord. God, you see every need that's represented here tonight. And right now, we just speak the name of Jesus over every need that's represented. We pray for your healing touch. We pray for a miracle touch, Lord God. Lord, we pray for provision. We pray for a need to be met tonight, all in the name of Jesus, the name above every name that can make a way. We plead the blood of Christ upon us tonight, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we, we, we pray for salvation to happen tonight, Lord. We pray for freedoms to happen tonight, Lord. Jesus, we thank you for everything that you do for us, for everything that you did for us on the cross. It is only through you that a way can be made. Hallelujah. God, you are so good to us. We just continue to give you praise, continue to give you glory, and we pray this in your precious name, Lord. Amen. When I think about the Lord, how He saved me, how He raised me, how He filled me with the Holy Ghost, how He healed me to the uttermost. When I think about the Lord, how He picked me up and turned me around, my feet on solid ground. It makes me want to shout hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you're worthy of all the glory and all of the honor and all of the praise. It makes me want to shout hallelujah. Thank Jesus, Lord, you're worthy of all the glory and all of the honor and all of the praise. When I think about the Lord, how he saved me, how he raised me, how he filled me with the Holy Ghost, how he healed me. To the uttermost, oh, when I think about the Lord, how He picked me up and He turned me around, He placed my feet on the solid ground. Oh, it makes me want to shout, Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus, Lord, You're worthy of all the glory. And all of the honor and all of the praise, it makes me want to shout, Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus, Lord, you're worthy of all the glory and all of the honor and all of the praise. When I think about the Lord, how He saved. How he raised me, how he filled me with the Holy Ghost, how he healed me to the uttermost. So when I think about the Lord, how 
how he picked me up and he turned me around how he placed my feet on the solid ground oh it makes me want to shout hallelujah thank you jesus lord you're worthy of all of the glory and all of the honor and all of the praise it makes me want to shout hallelujah thank you jesus lord you're worthy of all of the glory and all of the honor and all of the praise oh it makes me want to shout Thank you, Jesus, Lord, you're worthy of all of the glory and all of the honor and all of the praise. It makes me want to shout, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, you're worthy of all the glory and all of the honor and all of the praise. It makes me want to shout. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we worship you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You know, Brother Dan, I don't think God wants us to stop. When I think about the Lord, how He saved me, how He raised me, how He filled me with the Holy Ghost, how He healed me to the uttermost. When I think about the Lord, how He picked me up and He turned me around and he placed my feet on the solid ground it makes me want to shout hallelujah thank you jesus lord you're worthy of all the glory and all of the honor and all of the praise it makes me want to shout Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, Lord, you're worthy of all the glory and all of the honor and all of the praise. Oh, it makes me want to shout, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, Lord, you're worthy of all the glory and all of the honor and all of the praise. It makes me want to shout. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you're worthy of all the glory and all of the honor and all of the praise. It makes me want to shout. God, let's just praise him tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. Honor tonight. Oh, hallelujah. When we were singing that and I was standing over there, amen. I thought about when the Lord saved me. I remember just as a young child, amen, at the age of 13 in Brother and Sister Black's living room, amen. We had a little prayer meeting, a little Bible study there, young people. And I'd never experienced church like that before. Amen. And I remember feeling for the first time, amen, the presence of God. I remember hearing Him knock on my heart's door. Amen. I thought about that night. Amen. That changed the direction. Amen. That I was going in. I remember Him speaking to me. Amen. And I cried out and I said, Lord, forgive me. Amen. I didn't know what I was doing, but I was crying out to a God amen that was saving my soul amen and I fell down on my knees and I wept before the God amen who made me amen and I cried and I cried 
And when I was done, I stood up. (laughs) And I'll never forget it. Amen. It was as if someone was standing next to me. And he put his hand on top of my head and knocked me back down to my knees. And he said, I'm not done with you yet. Amen. I'm glad I can remember all the things that God has done. Amen. Because that lets me know what he's going to do. Amen. What he's done back then. He can still do today. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise this evening. Amen. I don't know if you're feeling what I'm feeling. Amen. But I'm feeling good tonight. I'm I'm feeling like God wants to do something. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles and turn with me to the book of Psalms, chapter 78, verse 19. Hallelujah. Isn't God good tonight? Oh, hallelujah. There's a lot of places I enjoy going and enjoy being at. Amen. But none can compare about being in the presence of Jehovah. Amen. I love to be in the presence of God, whether it's in I'm home or in the car or here. Amen. I love to be in the presence of God tonight. Psalms chapter 78 and verse 19, we're going to read. If you want to stand, you may. If not, that's all right also. But the Bible says, Yea, they spake against God. They said, Can God furnish a table in the wilderness? Let us pray, Father of heaven, I'm thankful for what you are doing already in our service. I thank you for the movement of the Holy Ghost that I can feel and bear witness within my spirit. I thank you for the word of God that is bringing, being brought forth tonight. I just ask God that this word would speak. Speak to each and every soul, each and every heart, God. Lord, let us not leave tonight not being changed. But God, let your work be done through your word we ask in the precious name of Jesus. And together let us shout a great big amen. I want to preach the thought, God can. Amen. God can. Back in the 1800s, in the mid-1800s, there was a Baptist minister by the name of A.C. Dixon. And he was quoted as to have said, when we depend upon organizations of We get what organizations can do. When we depend upon education, we get what education can do. When we depend upon man, we get what man can do. But when we depend on God, we get what God can do. Amen. Glory to God. I'm glad. Amen. I don't have to rely on myself. Amen. Because I tried it and I failed. I'm glad I don't have to rely on my brother or my sister. I'm glad I don't have to rely on the government of this world. Amen. Because I get, amen, all that they can offer. Amen. But when we depend on God, we get what God can do. You see me. Man can do a lot, but man is limited. Amen. We've been blessed with technology. We've been blessed with modern medicine. Amen. It can do great things today, but it can only do so much. Amen. I'm glad I serve a physician. Amen. That can go beyond the grave when our body has already been wrathed by death. Amen. When grave clothes have been wrapped around us. Amen. He can still raise a dead body from the grave. Amen. When the eyes can no longer see. Amen. He can still open the blinded eyes. God can tonight, church. Amen. Proverbs chapter 3 
Verse 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge. I like that word. Acknowledge him and he shall. He shall direct thy paths. You see, I can't. (laughs) Amen. I can't tonight. But he can. Amen. How many times have you said, I can't do that? Amen. I can't do that. Amen. And it may be true because as humans, amen, as men and women, we are limited. But we serve a God. Amen. If we would only learn to lean on upon our own understanding, but to trust in Him, acknowledge Him. Amen. He shall. Direct all our paths tonight. Amen. I want to preach a simple message this evening. Amen. God can. Hallelujah. You see, I can't make it rain. But God can. I can't make the sun to shine. But God can. I can't open blinded eyes. Oh, but God can. I can't make a way when there seems to be no way. But God can tonight, church. Amen. He can make a way in our wilderness. He can cause it to rain in our drought. Amen. He can cause the sun to shine. Amen. In our storms, in our darkness. Amen. We may not be able to do it, but God can. I can't. I'll be honest. There are many things we can do, but we can't do everything. But God can. (laughs) Aren't you thankful when we fall short, He makes up the rest? (laughs) Oh, there's only so much we can do, but God can. Acknowledge Him, and He shall. He will. He can tonight. Amen. Here in the book of Psalms we read. Amen. Yea, they spoke against God. They said, can God furnish a table in the wilderness? You see, the children of Israel for about 430 some years were held as captive to Pharaoh. Amen. They were slaves. Amen. They couldn't, amen, do as they wished. Amen. But God raised up a man. Amen. Moses that led them out of the land of Egypt into a land that was flowing with milk and honey. Amen. After 400 and some years, they probably thought all hope was gone. They probably thought there was no redemption. Amen. But God Amen. Raised Moses up and Moses went and began to lead them out. Amen. He came to the Red Sea. Amen. They probably, some of them thought well this is as far as we go. We can't cross over. Amen. In our own ability. But God can. Amen. And the Bible says that God parted the sea and they walked across on dry land amen and then the enemy began to pursue them amen and God drowned the enemy amen God can do that which we cannot do tonight God fed them manna from heaven for 40 years their shoes never wore out Hallelujah. I don't know how that's possible. I have a little seven year son year old son. Uh, it seems like every other month I'm buying him a pair of shoes. Forty years. They were never in want. Why? Because God can, but here in Psalms, they begin to speak against God. And they said, Can God furnish a table in the wilderness? Amen. Proverbs says if we would acknowledge Him. Oh, think back about what God has done for you. 
Acknowledge His goodness in your life. Amen. Has He saved you? Acknowledge His salvation power. Has He healed you? Acknowledge His healing power. Has He set you free? Acknowledge and He will direct our paths. He shall show us the way. Amen. When we don't know where to go, He becomes the door we walk through this evening. Acknowledge, amen, all the goodness, all the great things that he has done. When we acknowledge all the things he has already done, then we will see the light of the sun. Hallelujah, glory to God. God can, amen, save the unsavable tonight. Amen. I remember when I walked away from God. Amen. When I left Him, He never left me. Amen. For so many years, I wandered around in the wilderness. Amen. Wondering if I'd ever be what I felt before. Amen. Thinking that I got to a point where I couldn't be saved anymore. Amen. But God can save the unsavable tonight. Amen. Let's turn over to the book of Acts chapter 9. Amen. The Bible talks about a man named Saul. Amen. In verse 1 it says, And Saul, yet breathing out threatenings and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord, went unto the high priest and desired him letters in Damascus to the synagogues, that if he found any of this way, whether they were men or women, he might bring them bound unto Jerusalem. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus. And suddenly there shined around him about him a light from heaven and he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him Saul Saul why persecutest thou me and he said who art thou Lord and the Lord said I am Jesus whom thou persecutest it is harder for thee to kick against the bricks and he trembling and astonished said Lord what will thou have me to do amen and the Lord said unto him arise go into the city and it shall be told what thou must do here we have the story of Saul of Tarsus amen who the Bible says persecuted the early church amen here he was amen seeking amen a bill seeking amen papers amen that he could go and haul out men and women and anyone that was in the way. Amen. What way? The way of Christ. Amen. And he would murder them. He would persecute them. Amen. He did all kinds of evil against them. And could you imagine being a Christian during that day? Hearing the reputation of this Saul. Amen. What if you were in the town and someone came and said, Saul is on his way. Saul is coming. How would you feel? Amen. God can save the unsavable tonight. On his road, the road to Damascus, and amen, he had an encounter. Amen. Of this kind. He had an encounter with God. Amen. And when God got done speaking to him, he said, What will thou have me to do? You see, what Paul was or what Saul was doing, he was turning from his evil and wicked ways. He said, I'll do what you want me to do. Amen. Just show me what you would have me to do tonight. Saul became the great apostle Paul. Amen. Which many of the books, most of the New Testament was scribed by. Amen. Many thought that Saul would never be a candidate for salvation. Have you ever had someone in your life, maybe a family member, maybe someone you work with, I don't think that person ever gets saved. Amen. I've known a 
couple in my day, I thought to myself, honestly, I don't think they're ever going to get saved. Amen. I felt maybe they're unsavable. Amen. Maybe you have thought one time you were unsavable. But God can. He can save the unsavable. He can save, amen, the alcoholic tonight. He can save the drug addict. Amen. He can save, amen, anyone that calls out, amen, on his name. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. I've known people that seem to be unreachable, unsavable. But God has the ability to save tonight. God told Jonah to go to Nineveh. Let's turn over there real quick. Jonah chapter 1, verse 1. Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of a man. Amitai, A-M-I-T-T-A-I, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. But Jonah rose up to flee from Tarsus, from the presence of the Lord, went down to Joppa, found a ship going to Tarsus, So he paid the fear thereof and went down into it to go with them unto Tarsus from the presence of the Lord. You see, there was a reason why Jonah began to flee when he was told to go to Nineveh. See, Nineveh was the enemy to Jonah's people. Amen. They, They warred against each other. They Amen. They they didn't get along. And amen. Nineveh was was the enemy to Jonah's people, was to Jonah himself. Said, I can't go down there. They'll kill me. Amen. And so the Bible says that he fled from God. He fled. Amen. Trying to run from the Lord. Amen. Because he didn't think. Amen. Nineveh could be changed. He didn't think. Even if he went and preached to them. That any good could come of it. Any good could come out of Nineveh. And so he ran. Because he felt they were unreachable. Amen. They were unsavable. Amen. But with God. All things are possible tonight. He can reach down no matter where we are. He can pick us up out of that horrible pit and place our feet on a rock tonight. Jonah fled to Nineveh. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He probably thought they were unreachable. But Jonah discovered that. God can. Hallelujah. After spending three days in the belly of a great fish. Amen. After being spewed. After hearing from God. He went to Nineveh and he began to preach. You better repent. Amen. God's angry with you. You better repent. God's going to destroy you. Amen. That's not comforting words. And the Bible says the king's heart was touched. And he began to cry out and wrap himself in sackcloth and ashes. He gave an order to all the people to begin to cry out and to pray. And Amen. Cry out to God. He had heard, not Jonah, but he had heard the voice of God that pricked his heart. And you know what happened? Revival came to Nineveh. Amen. In the beginning, Jonah thought they were unreachable. Jonah thought they were unsavable. He ran so he didn't have to. But God says, I'm a God that's able. Amen. And in the end, he went and he preached. And revival came to the city of Nineveh. They begin to cry out. Amen. They begin to cry to God. God can save the unsavable. God can restore 
the unrestorable tonight. David was restored. You see, David was a man after God's own heart, the Bible says. He was close to God. And David fell to sin. He fell to temptation. He fell to the lust of his flesh. Amen. He committed murder. He committed adultery. Amen. And in his anguish, in his guilt, in his shame, we find in Psalms 51, where he begins to cry out to God. Amen. And in a couple of those verses, he says, Create in me a, a clean heart, O God. Amen. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Amen. Glory to God. God restored. Amen. To David what had been broken. Amen. God restored his relationship with him. God restored his joy. God restored. Amen. That which the devil tried to destroy. God restored restored it hallelujah you may feel your relationship is unrestorable tonight I serve a God that can hallelujah you may feel amen the doctors may have given up I serve a God that can restore tonight you may feel like you'll never be happy Ever again, but I serve a God. Amen. That can restore the unrestorable this evening. Amen. Glory to God. God restored unto David the joy of his salvation. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 26. Verse 69 through 75. We see where Peter denies Christ. You see, before this, Jesus told him what would happen, and he said, oh, Lord, I'll die. I'll never betray you. I'll never. Amen. I'll go all the way with you. And here we find in the 26th chapter of the Gospel of Matthew where, amen, Peter is recognized and Amen. And question. And he says, I don't know that man. Amen. And then a little bit later, he's questioned again. And he begins to get fearful, maybe, and angry. And the Bible says he begins to swear. Amen. And curse. I don't know this man, Jesus, you're talking about. I'm not one of his followers. Amen. And he begins to do that which he said he'd never do. Hallelujah. And after the last denial, he heard the cock crow. And sorrow gripped his heart. And he went away weeping. Then we find in John 21, after the death, resurrection, and burial of Jesus, he had visited those and ministered to many and And he, after his resurrection, is speaking to, amen, John. And he's telling them different things. And he says, do you love me? He said, Lord, you know I love you. Amen, then feed my lambs. And he asks them again, do you love me? Lord, you know I do. Well, feed my sheep. And and again, he goes on and says, feed my sheep up. Amen. And then, uh, amen, glory to God, around the, I believe, the 22nd verse or so, uh, Jesus simply says, follow me. Uh, Amen. He tells Peter, then follow me. Uh, Amen. Glory to God. He restored. uh, Amen. This man. uh, Amen. Glory to God. That did the unthinkable. uh, He thought was impossible. Uh, Lord, I'll never forget, forsake you. Uh, Lord, I'll never turn my back on you. Uh, And that's exactly what he did but then we find God's loving mercy and a grace amen and he begins to restore Peter once again and then after the day of Pentecost when they came up out of the upper room and 
Peter began to be one of the first preachers. And he preached the message of repentance on that day. And the Bible says 3,000 souls were added to the church. Amen. And daily as such to be saved here was a broken man. Amen. There was things I said I never do. And I did. Amen. I found myself backslidden. Lord, I remember many, many, amen, times with God and promises I made and didn't keep. But I'm so thankful that God is able to restore the unrestorable. For years I searched and found nothing came up empty. But he filled me once again with his love and mercy and restored to me the joy of my salvation. Amen. God can do the unthinkable tonight. Second Kings chapter 6 talks about a story of an axe head that falls off of an axe handle. Falls into the river Jordan. Amen. And when the man that borrowed it went and told the prophet. And the prophet came back and he showed me where. He asked where did it fall in. And Amen. That man showed him the area. And Elijah got a stick and he smoked the water. And what that man thought would never be seen again. Came floating to the top of the water. Amen. You see, iron don't float. Rock don't float. God is able to do the unthinkable. Hallelujah. There's nothing too big for our God, church. If He can make an axe head float to the surface of the water. If he can speak to the dead, Lazarus, come forth. Amen. If he can spit in mud and wipe it on the eyes of blind Bartimaeus, he can do the unthinkable tonight. What is it that you think is impossible? Amen. It may be impossible with us, but God can. He can tonight. Hallelujah. In closing, let us stand this evening. God can. Let that encourage you this evening God can amen pastor can't hallelujah our music and our worship leaders can't but God can what is it that you need from God this evening do you have a loved one that felt in your heart is unsavable God can you need something in your life restored you just haven't been able to in your own might in your own strength God can what seems to be unthinkable impossible for you tonight God can hey man I'm just going to call a general altar call Whatever it is that you need from God, God can. Acknowledge Him and He shall. He shall direct your paths. Let's all find a place around these altars that we or at your pew. Tell God what you need from Him this evening. If you need special prayer, anointed with oil. We're here, we'll agree with you and pray with you.
God can, church. God can. that's broken make it over again but I know a man who can I can take a soul that's sin sick make it wide as the but I know a man who can. Some call him Savior, the Redeemer of all men. I call him Jesus, for he Upon the waters, or calm the troubled sea, but I know a man who can, and I can't cause blind eyes to open or make the lame to walk again. But I know a man who tonight. Amen. Because he's been with us. 
And always remember, he can. He can. I love you. I'm thankful that he did for me. With every head bowed and every eye closed, Brother Nate, would you dismiss us in a word of prayer this evening?